What's up, everybody? How's it going? Uh, DJ Darius. DJ wasn't a thing. So yeah, almost. my bad. That window exit out by accident. God, I got the iced coffee it. right here. I got I got salted caramel iced coffee. I, I, I got just had one actually. I, I got beer. Beer. <laughs> beer. <laughs> I had beer, then an iced coffee after. Beer is what I'd rather have. To be I honest made, with you, I made some taquitos, man, and I had some taquitos with a Corona. And then I said to my daughter, "Can you make me an iced coffee?" She made me an iced coffee. So See, if I, I had coffee right now, I'll be all night. Really? Nice. Well, mine, my, I'm, mine's I'm off decaf. tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, so. Easter Monday. Easter Monday. Yeah, Easter Monday off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Easter. Monday I, I had an Easter Friday off. I got to work and he's like, you can go home early if you want. I'm like, <laughs> say less. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> say less. <laughs> yeah. Can I get still paid though? I'll be like, yeah. Can yeah, oh, you get paid gosh. for a full day? <laughs> oh, man. If I can say what I'm going to say. Oh, geeky guys already in it. Already in it, man. Damn. Uh, we got 30 people watching already, so please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. That helps with the algorithm, guys. I don't care if you subscribe. Hit the yeah. thumbs up button. That's more important than anything. Geeky hey. guy, if you want a five-hour super chat, gracias. Uh, if you were a mutant in the Marvel Universe, would you rather side with Professor X or Magneto? I'd rather side with Magneto. Hmm. 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 Which Magneto though? Because Magneto, good side Magneto, and there's a bad Magneto. I know the, the new Magneto. Right. I'm, I'm liking because he's yeah. He's, he's, Are you talking he's, about X. like <laughs> X Men Magneto or the yeah. Brotherhood yeah. Magneto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna go with Professor X, man. Yeah. He's got yeah. Right over there. Yeah, Professor X. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think I would, use my, I would probably use my powers for more good. I think I would try to. So I have to go. That side. Hey, if I was the mutant, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't be siding with any of them. I like, might have to. I'll be an anti-hero. I'd do my own. Yeah. Thing, you know? <laughs> I would do whatever <laughs> I could do to get me. rich. <laughs> whatever, we have enough for anti-heroes. Yeah. These two are crazy. Be... These Professor X Magneto, they're crazy mofos. We gotta. Yeah. I, I feel like we need to. We need. We need a third. We need a third branch. Yeah, we need a third party. <laughs> just like yeah, <laughs> yeah. we need that third choice, just in case. Um, yeah. Also, I want to say I, I'm. Also, I want to say I didn't tell you so, but I told you so. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I watched your review uh, yesterday. Last night, I was in bed. I, was I watched it. I was laughing, dude. I, so all, I, I was crazy. They all said it was crazy. <laughs> I got home. I got. I got home like around. 2 30 that night i'm like man i yeah. only got like 30 minutes for x-men come out. i'm gonna just chill and wait and watch it which i haven't done with any animated show so i was like man dude the moment where i was like fuck dj was when she transformed <laughs> into the goblin queen i was like oh. fuck it i'm in this for the long haul <laughs> i was like he was yeah. right he was right that was a killer scene Killer yeah, that was really good. Like, it reminded me of Sailor Moon for a second. Like I was, just yeah, there, I was Danny. like, this, the animation is good, the writing is good, everything about that. I can't. If I were to find something wrong, I'm nitpicking at this point. Like really, yeah. under a microscope, you know, nitpicking. Mm -hmm. so, What's I mean, up, Danny? It's, it's gotten to the point where I've never been this impressed by a Marvel show on Disney Plus ever. And yeah, indeed. And like you Disney said, Rob, there's no butt to it. Like. Every show yeah. we had is a butt. There's no butt, you know, or they could have this better. It's so far there's it's, butts in it. I mean, it's butts. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, yeah. Couple yeah, leg crosses like, too, but I, mean. hey, man, I, I, do, I just I need to know what this guy got fired for, man. Because they I dropped know. him faster than fucking Jonathan Majors. Well, yeah. that, that, that's the thing. Disney has a habit of doing knee jerk reactions sometimes. Yeah, exactly. And like, no, it like, no one oh, knew this... about it. Like, no one knew about this face until they fired him. Like, it yeah. was just on the road and no one would have known. Yeah. Quick. Like, like, like it's it's I don't know if the, only, is the OnlyFans thing true or is that just a rumor? I don't know. OnlyFans, OnlyFans is true. He did have one, but well, we what don't was know done on that's the heard, reason why. Yeah, I, heard just, I heard he was just modeling on there. No, like, acts. Like that. Sure. You know, yeah, but. Like if if that's all he did, he can muddle all all he wants for all yeah, I care. Yeah, like God, it's so yeah, good. Keep writing. So far, so good. Three episodes yeah. in, he has writing like, is so, so good. good. Like I was in there going, like, like like, oh, how are they going to explain this? Like, like, cause I remember last week we were talking about like, do you think that's real Gene Gray? Oh no, that's not real Gene Gray. And yeah. then it was like the real Gene Gray. Yeah. Like, oh man. And then the kid goes with Bishop, and the kid is yeah. like, 
table, and it's like, oh my god, like it was so well done. And the guy that, and the, the next door is gonna be good because we got um uh, what's his name uh Forge in Storm, right? I love that. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's like he's killing me, man. All these good storylines. Like, are yeah. they gonna are they gonna go that route where Storm and and and, and Forge yeah, handle that? Yeah, and the yeah. only difference with the the whole thing with the virus thing with Nathan was you know mm -hmm. in, in the comic books I believe it was Apocalypse that was the one that gave it to him mm -hmm. and not actually Mr. Sinister, but they're but doing it works. It. It, it works. works. Yeah, it definitely works. And, the, and that the, whole transformation, holy crap. I've yeah. watched that scene like 100 times so far. It's, it's, it's just yeah. So uh, the the one scene where um like they're, they're like in the church or whatever and that that glass breaks, the 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 oh, colors yeah. stained glass. I was yeah, like yeah. I can't believe this is like current cuz normally Japanese animation has all the good animation. You don't really see yeah, that with yeah. American animation. I was like Man, this was like this belongs on the big screen. That's how there good that animation. Time, like, I thought I was watching anime for a second. Like yeah, yeah no, like I was yeah. watching a good anime for the, a second. Like, the the monster on the elevator and Beast's demeanor, right? I was like, yeah. oh, I yeah. think you got the wrong floor. <laughs> that's, that's from that's like from Ghibli Studios and stuff. That's so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so but it reminded that that scene there. The the monster reminded me of Akira. Yeah, I don't know if you guys so watched good. Akira as yeah. wait was yeah. Yeah. long ago, but even yeah, even the scene. The scene when um Jubilee and what's his kid were watching TV and his mom come out the TV and everything that was yeah. cool. Yeah, know? they're they're dude. I was watching that at three in the morning with my yeah. headphones on. I was it like, dude, like I was like, yeah, I was like, man, it's getting kind of creepy around here, man. Yeah, but uh, I haven't I watched. I, I, I haven't like felt something for a show like this in a while. Like I, yeah, you know, there's the emotional scenes. I'm feeling the emotional scenes. The the, mm -hmm. the comedy. I'm laughing at the like when. Wolverine's like hook puppies up in his chest and everything. That whole scene had me dying laughing. Like this is the it's not just the animation in the character, it's the writing that makes the show above another level anybody else, I think, right now. Yeah. Like 100%. the animation is so good, but it, it when I saw Mr. Sinister in that animation, I went, Oh my god, this looks mm -hmm. like amazing. And already just the entire nightmare sequence with Mr. Mm -hmm. Sinister and ever I was like, Oh my god, this is like I've never seen like this like consistent quality. And again, going back to these Marvel Disney Plus shows, like this is Three, probably the most yeah. consistent. Yeah. Like, yeah. and that's what I like because sometimes like the episodes, it's very inconsistent with them. Like either they're very filler ish or the quality nose dives within a certain amount of episodes. But right. this is probably the most consistently good and consistent time wise too, because that's another issue too. A lot of the episodes are very short. A lot of them are some that could be long, but this is like I think the perfect straightforward thirty three minutes. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Like like I said in my review, every Disney Plus show, even the ones we like, we're like, yeah, we like it, but et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And I and I have to explain the butts, but I ended up cutting it yeah. out of my review. Um, but this one I don't have any but you know like, like even what if I'm like oh, yeah the animation's okay, but man I'm not down with all these like. Individual stories don't mean anything. Some of them are just boring. Like some episodes were boring, you know. Yeah, like, it, it looks good, yeah. but it's boring. But like, this is like Austin said, the whole 30 minutes of this episode, I'm invested. In. Like, I, I'm up. not like I'm not looking away. If anything, I'm rewinding back to recatch something. It's like yeah. I, I'm not like, oh, this is okay. This is kind of a dull moment. No, every second matters, every minute matters in these shows. Like, you get to watch it. What's cool also is the endings of each episode. It keeps yeah. you going for it gets the next you excited. one, right? Yeah. So, like the first episode, we got at the end of it, we got Magneto, Magneto coming in. Then the second episode was about Magneto. Then we got Gene, Gene. right? The yep. two Gene and now, then we got the Gene storyline. Now we got the Storm and the Forge. Now it's going to be about Storm and Forge, right? So yeah. it's like it's and that's what's missing. With each jump of of an, of an episode, so it yeah. keeps you like hmm, like next, like you said, right, Rob? You said it like this is like it keeps you wanting to see the next episode, and you go, oh, is it Wednesday? You know, like Wednesday. Yeah. That's it. You want to see yeah. it, and it's been a long time since One. you want to actually watch an episode. When it comes out, like you know, you're like not wait a couple let's, days. Let's, or yeah, like, let's mark the calendar. You know? yeah, Got to watch yeah. it on Wednesday, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely, man. This and is, that's great. A lot of TV today is missing that that cliffhanger ending to make you invested. Like right. you look at some of the good shows, like like whatever, like people have different favorite shows, like whether it be Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones, whatever. But you look at Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones, each, almost every episode ends on a cliffhanger that makes you want to watch the next episode. Yeah. Whereas a lot of, like like Mandalorian does like every like if it's a two part episode the one yeah. of the episodes will leave on a cliffhanger but for the most part none of them really leave on it like oh my god what's gonna happen and it's, and all three episodes has been like a big reveal at the end Magneto 
Jean Grey, Ford. Like these are th these aren't just cliffhangers, but they are big. big cliffhangers. Yeah. yeah, but it's also the writing, right? Because like like Forge's line, right? I'm I'm one of uh, Xavier's old yeah. friends, old friends, yeah. And I'm hoping you let me help you get back your power. Like it's like, damn, right? Like yeah. it's just the way they're introducing the characters too. And not only that, like that whole scene, I think you mentioned it last week uh, on the show, uh, DJ, was that whole scene with the danger room mm -hmm. and Morph going through it. Yeah. The comedy of it, right? <laughs> comedy, yeah. He goes, the, the oh, yeah, they got it yeah. today yeah. and later yeah. on today and tomorrow. All day. <laughs> they're working <laughs> on their stamina. I guess they're working on their stamina. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check on this. <laughs> and then Morph yeah. goes, oh, man, it just back <laughs> off. I think you, uh, you really You'll hit him put a hush puppies on. Puppy <laughs> <laughs> and I, dude, Gambit has me rolling on the ground because yeah. he's like, like every other word is like, man, Gambit don't yeah. like that or man, yeah. Gambit, I, love, I love Gambit, they, but they, they're doing my boy wrong, man. They're doing my boy wrong. Like man, it's heartbroken. We try to keep the guy. I got your back, buddy. You, you know, oh look it out. <laughs> and then there, you could tell that for um Storm, uh, Storm, uh, Rogue. Rogan and and Magneto were in the danger they room in, or something when they walked in. Like, 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 what's going on, y'all? We're like, wait, I'm so they, 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 they cut the gambit. <laughs> like, like, gambit, the <laughs> like, It's okay, now, share right? gambit. Dirty. It's okay now. <laughs> they're they're doing him like Yamcha, man. They're doing him like Yamcha. It's like, oh, no, I would have been there. That's okay. Yeah. You should have been next to me, man. I, I'm man. waiting for the episode where he walks in on him. Like, that's what I'm waiting for. It's like, and it's not a dream. It's not a dream. <laughs> Gambit cannot unsee that yeah. shit. <laughs> did, did, did you see that one meme going around where uh, Jean is like Jean and Logan? And she's like, I mean all that to you. And she starts putting her hair up. Yeah. And then, and then, <laughs> Beast walks in. yeah, Beast walks in. <laughs> People have a lot of time oh, in their hands, but it was yeah. Fun. yeah. Uh, uh, but I was like, like, like you knowing the interact of these characters' relationship, that's what makes the show better. Because the, the creator and the writer, they know the backstory between. So what is coming on the screen shows, you know. Mm -hmm. I was talking about today because I, I try to explain when you can tell when a creator or writer either is a fan mm -hmm. of the con content or took the time to study the content because it shows on stream, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I went back and started watching. From the first episode of season one, uh, X Men '92, because it's on Disney Plus, so I went yeah. back and started watching it. Because I, as a kid, I watched pieces of the episodes. I never watched it completely watched, like, in, in order. Like, in yeah. order, so I've been going back and doing that. Which I hate Morph. I hate Morph in those older episodes. He yeah. is so annoying. He's like, <laughs> yeah, like, like oh morph, my god, way, this Morph is deeper. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He, he has more layers to him, and I, yeah. I like how they use him to bring in characters. But he had that moment in this episode where, Dude, when he turned he, into magic, bro. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. he had his moment when he was explaining sinister to everybody. He's like, I understand. Oh, you know, you could lose because that would happen to him. So you understand, yeah, cool. you know, his trauma and everything, and why when he switched back to the old morph. You know, he kind of showed his, yeah, you know, self and everything. So that's yeah. the, the deeper part of the show that I'm enjoying. So, yeah, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, and I like what you said. Uh, I, I like his layers he has. But I like how he brings in other characters that yeah. logically doesn't make sense to shoehorn in the story. But it but, makes sense using him to, in a yeah. fight scene. Yeah, so yeah. A little Easter eggs and everything. So, so actually, yeah. like you know, like, it's like Easter eggs, basically. Yep. Just like little Easter eggs yeah. here, which is cool. Like you know, yeah. Archangel was cool, and that was in the first mm -hmm. episode. I think he did Archangel. Yeah, we saw Psylocke. Yeah, yeah. Psylocke. yeah he did Psylocke. Wow. The blog, yeah. Um, I can't remember the, what's the girl with the multiple arms? I can never remember her name. In the, the, little the, the one that was like the Sam, or she, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know her name. Her name, yeah. Oh my I god, know what you're talking about. I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. When she called, wanted to call her Jean Doe, <laughs> Jean Doe, <laughs> I have to call her Jean Doe, and all the hands come up, yeah. Oh my god, guys, we have 40 people watching, but only oh, 11 know. likes, so I don't understand. Right, why seventy five percent of the people watching are missing their thumbs? The Please, math ain't mathing, y'all. That math, yeah, the math, math ain't mathing at all. <laughs> math. Math. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna address the gorilla in the room. No pun intended. <laughs> the gorilla. Um, gorilla. I have not seen Godzilla. No, I have. Um, I because have my we were going to go see it, but my wife's been sick all week. Oh sure. And it's a movie that we were gonna see together, so I wasn't gonna go see it without her. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna wait until next weekend to see it. So um I've been just avoiding spoilers. So I'm just Same. yeah, I just yeah, yeah, I got you. 
But um, no spoilers. I really enjoyed it. Like, I went to the movie completely. Um, <laughs> no politics at all in this movie. You go there, you you escape from the world outside and really enjoy well, it. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. After the last four or five of these movies in this universe, my bar is set pretty low. Like, really? like it's really you know, low. These are popcorn movies. I'm just going to watch two monsters fight. I, you know, the deeper storyline is kind of like, eh, whatever. Just give me some good special effects at this point. See, you know? see why yeah. Godzilla is running and he's got longer arms now. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Evolution. I'm sorry, but like, you can't compare to minus one. So I'm just like, yeah, that, that's whatever. the way I look at it. I, <laughs> like, like, that I, missed that. I missed out on that in the theater. So. I, I'm looking at like minus one is up here. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, down here. And they're like, like wait, wait, I'm going into this like I go into a Fast and the Furious movie. Yeah, yeah. This shit's going to be exactly. stupid to just yeah, watch. Minus one coming yeah. on on physical media, you guys know? Uh, I, I believe know. in May I, is coming out. Damn, I'm definitely yeah. going to buy it. Because I heard network. nothing but good stuff about it. My yeah, minus one is phenomenal. Yeah. But this one, my daughter didn't see any of the other movies, and she really enjoyed it. Okay, so you know they do a little like flashback to you know who to know who Give the you girl a recap. is basically. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was pretty it. it explains it. Ryan threw in a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much. What was the alien in the elevator where Beast was saying, "I'll catch the next time." The next one. The next one that you talking about that yellow big eye yeah. freaking thing. I don't know what that was. I, I, I assumed I, I it was just a just a generic monster. Generic, yeah, yeah. I looked back at it and it didn't like. I watched it last night again, and I couldn't. I for yeah. a second like Mojo, but no, it was definitely not Mojo. Yeah, I think it was just yeah, just a generic <laughs> goblin yeah. or whatever. Because they all were attached to the characters, their fears. Yeah, some kind right? of fear. Yeah, Hit, uh, because security. Uh, yeah. The other one was his mom knowing that he's a mutant, you know, and the Gambit saw Ma Magneto yeah. and Rogue, exactly. and uh, yeah. I think you know, Scott saw Professor X. And yeah, he, he, he's a failure of uh, yeah. being a leader. Yeah, yeah. So, so. and yeah, Beast, I have no idea. How about Bishop getting his moment in that episode too? Yeah, with uh, Cyclops what's, powering what's, him. What's his? What's the girl's name? Scrife? Uh, no, not yeah. Scrife. I can. I know you're talking about. Right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I like. I, I like how every episode they they shine someone's power level. Like, yeah. You know, they had, they had yeah. Cyclops with episode one, you know, his blast down yeah. and uh the mega level with a storm. Yeah. I thought Bishop. His was awesome. Was cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. But <laughs> well, they both look at each other. You're welcome. But, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will say they 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 have made Cyclops a badass now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, he, he's a little pussy boy in the first series you know always crying but he's he's a badass now so which well deserved i think so yeah yeah to toughen up yeah <laughs> well yeah um, and, also, and also we don't have uh they see the whole thing about gene gray how she always like like murmured or or, or whined after getting hurt or using her powers for go no she always passed out when she used her powers in the first season <laughs> He always fainted, like always fainted. <laughs> so they said he knew it was. It. So they said he knew it was Jean in this yeah. episode where she got to the door because she fainted. fainted. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's, that's how you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> she always like, fainted. Yeah, that's that's Jean. Yeah, yeah. 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 Be that powerful, you're always fainting. Yeah. Um, go ahead. You, you guys doing a five dollar super chat? Uh, thank you. I appreciate the five dollar super chat. Rob, why would you pay to see Godzilla versus Kong when you can watch the grown reptile team up in real life with your sister at the swamp? That's I mean, I did see a lot of those during my my type my time growing up, you know, <laughs> seeing my sister wrestle a lot of things. Gators. I, gators, yeah, in Florida. Bears. <laughs> no, nah, not there ain't, there ain't no bears in Florida. Oh yeah, there's no black bears at the zoo. Um, yeah, I was speaking of Florida. I watched Roadhouse. I just, yeah. oh, me too. I just finished watching it with my wife. Yeah, what do you think, dude? I, I loved that movie. That movie was fun. Yeah. I thought, you know, I thought the, sto the story was dumb, but the fight fight scenes were pretty cool. I mean, guilty pleasure, man. That's all pleasure. I have to say. McGregor being McGregor, his, his freaking... that was that was the worst part, though. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It, 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 over it, the top. It, it, it felt like a like, 90s oh. action movie, and then when he got there, it, it turned like straight slapstick with him. Yeah, but dude. Like Jake Gyllenhaal fucked him up at the end of that movie, but he was Jake was fucking ripped for this movie. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, he, he was, you ever seen Southpaw? He get, he gets in He shape. was ripped for that one, yeah. too. True. Yeah, so true. I, I don't, it's not a stretch yeah. for him. But I thought yeah. the, the choreography was freaking, that, that first thing, he slapped all those guys. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> oh, slap slap him. you. It's like, <laughs> he, he did it so fast, too. It was like, <laughs> God, they just slapped like, the, that way. And the other, and the other <laughs> like, guy, <laughs> I love one of the gang members. He was like, he goes, that, are those your bikes outside? He goes, yeah, yeah, mine's the, yeah. Right, the red one, right on the one on the right. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it was a guilty pleasure, that movie. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was yeah. yeah, I was cleaning up, and I had it on in the background. It was, it was pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's one of those movies I would pay to go see in theater. No, I would, so. I would not see that in theater. Not. No, no, yeah. yeah. For Hulu, yeah, it was pretty good. I was like, eh, there was nothing to watch, so yeah. put it on, and I had fun for two hours anyway. I still don't like the fact that, I mean, it's a minor spoiler, but how the fuck did the, the, the girl's dad get away at the end? Scott yeah. free. Dang, nothing happened to that motherfucker. All the, all the crap he did, there's no way. No. Yeah. Who was the only one st- left standing, right? Basically, he was the only one left yeah. standing. Yeah, but McGregor, man, he too because he's he's not been fighting, so he's got he's really ripped been. for this movie as well. He's, always, he's like kind of always. Well, no, he he when they were filming this movie, he was, was preparing fighting. for a fight uh, on Ultimate Fighter, but one of the oh, guys yeah. got hurt, so they had to push the fight back. Oh, so he's, he's, already, he's already training. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I don't know. I'm, yeah, because I don't think you think he can make a, a comeback, McGregor. No, nah, I don't yeah, think so. He's up there in age now. So. Yeah. Apparently, he's on some steroids too, because people are starting to compare his face, and they're like, "Oh man, this dude's like on some shit, man." Yeah, but it's like, dude, how many times do you get your face broken over the True. years? You know? yeah. <laughs> True. True. Wow, do we have to see his ass that much in this in that one scene? That dude, that bothered like, me, bro. I was like. Why are we really watching this man walk down a freaking street like for five minutes, his ass out? Come on, like, I can't. Yeah. I can't watch my wife in the corner of my eye and every scene, especially with Jake. Kent, and with Jake, when the hospital, when she met the nurse for the first time, yeah, wife looks over to me and she goes, "I want to be a nurse now." It's <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> it's like really. I want to know how to fuck during the Florida Keys, but we ain't see no female ass at all. Yeah, like nothing. Like really, well, it depends where the Florida Keys are. I mean, every time I went to the Keys, I saw ass. Yeah, it depends where. Because there's some part of the shirt yeah. part of the Keys that are not that. Mm. I'm not talking about the gay neighborhoods. <laughs> I'm not talking about that either. We do not discriminate against homophobes or homophobia. Oh, no. or... <laughs> 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 I did not know or heard of that. Oh, the guys, of Robert Stone. Stone. Well, we, we don't... We, 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 and and whatever the last episode up, of Robert Stone Live ever. Robert Stone Live. Oh, my God. That did not everybody. Come up. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got nothing against any kind of homo or anything. You can homo anything you want around here. We're fine with it. Tomorrow's headline. You as long as there's consent. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Oh, that was too funny. Everything's uh, homo fine around here. Homo fine. Homo fine. Super, super. Um, one more would be I, when the word "gay" was just about being happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that was a long time we'll have a gay old time. Yeah, no, no, that was that. Was, those were simpler times back simpler then. Time, simpler times. Yeah. Dude, I guess we can talk about the bad boy trailer. I really don't have much to contribute to the conversation. I just put it in there because it was a slow week. <laughs> Oh, the X Men. There's nothing really else to talk about. Yeah, I was like, well, I was like, like Shogun, but I don't know if you guys are. Yeah, there. I try. I tried again. I can't get into yeah, it, man. Shogun is too I much to reading on my channel. That, that's just like my personal like thing I'm doing for myself, watching it right now. Because I, I mean, I have a show, so. Yeah. yeah, I sat in bed last night. Um, because I yeah. I didn't really have, and I tried watching it, and I'm man, I ain't trying to read that much, man. And, yeah. and it's not not really the reading because again, I saw minus one. Twice in theaters, and that was all reading. And I'm I'm used to reading anime, but it was like the subtitles are like super quick. They are I was like, man, I didn't I didn't catch all that. What the fuck you doing? You know? And I gotta rewind back. Like I missed something. I had to rewind. Back. Yeah. You look away for a minute, and you're like, damn, I missed what happened. You know? I'm just curious why the Japanese sound when they talk that they're constipated. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, it's like oh, you're not. Gonna, you're not 
Oh. Man, so okay, so we already talked about gay people and <laughs> homophobia <laughs> and Japanese. Who's next? And we, <laughs> I'm just saying, this is an observation. Yeah. So the Bad Boys trailer, um, I, I did watch the trailer. I didn't do a trail reaction to it. I didn't see the last one for yeah, life, even left. though they, they got them. I, the I, agree, I agree with you on the, on the title situation. It's just switching yeah. them around. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. But um, look, I, I don't expect everybody to take the stance I take. Everybody can walk their own road. I'm, I, I'm still turned off with Will Smith for what he did to Chris Rock. So I'm not going to go see anything. I'm going to see it. I'm, I'm invested in the franchise. You know, I don't think it's going to be nowhere near one or two. I mean, I think this should be the last one to be done, honestly. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's a popcorn movie. I'm going to go have a bucket of popcorn, watch it, you know, hopefully walk away with a good time. So I'm not like overexcited about it. So not a big deal to me. Give me rush hour four. That's what we want, Pete. That's what we've been waiting for. Mm. Rush hour four. twenty years, twenty years later. <laughs> wow. Jack yeah. Chance, what like seventy something now or close? But well, he doesn't look it though. And Chris Rock or Chris Tucker don't look it either. It, it, have them, have them both being retired and to come out of retirement for some reason. That's all. Like lethal weapon. Together, you know? Like lethal yeah. weapon four. That's all you gotta do. You know who looks get... bad? Martin Lawrence looks terrible, man. Martin Lawrence looked awful, well, bro. So he he looked, I know he had. He, I know he had he that stroke. Problems, but... Yeah. yeah, that stroke. So I think, yeah, you can see it in his face. And like they had that reunion moment on the Aust or the Emmys or whatever with the whole cast of Martin, and you could mm -hmm. see he was moving very slow. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, hope everything's okay with him. You know. Oh, speaking of, y'all saw the guy from Gen V died. Yes. No, I didn't watch Gen V. Oh, you didn't watch? Oh, Gen you v? did. Oh, uh, that was great. Dude, that's great. great. I know it's one of those things I got to go back and watch. Yeah, yeah. But yeah now it's it, now it's on hold. Season two is on hold. Yeah, they got, they, got, they got to rewrite it now. Let's we'll rewrite. Yeah. We'll write him out. He died in what motorcycle accident? I think it was. Yeah, twenty-seven yeah. years old, man. Twenty-seven years old. Crazy. That's yeah. insane. Uh, Patrick, I, I I don't normally um, I don't normally call out unless it's super chats here. But that that's okay. I'm glad you have that take about Chris Rock and Will Smith. You're totally entitled to have that take, right? If that's how you feel, you're totally entitled to that. I'm entitled to have my take on it, okay? I understand he didn't get beat down, but he was also publicly humiliated in front of millions upon millions of people, and then 20 minutes later, Worldwide. got a standing ovation, given a reward in front of millions of people. So I'm allowed to have my personal feelings against that, and you're allowed to feel the way you feel. So I'm just going to yeah. put that there. Uh, Mason Clark threw in a five hour super chat and he said, What did you guys think of the what if MCU what if show? I just got done watching season one and enjoyed it overall. What can I expect for season two? Uh, I did not like, I did not like, um, season one. I thought the last two episodes were the only two good episodes. I think the Marvel zombie episode was good, but it, it's not for me. I didn't watch any of season two. Season two is all right in my opinion it was weaker i find it was weaker there's a couple episodes that pop but overall it's i mean it won't if you watch season one and enjoyed it you can watch season two i mean yeah season one's very hit and miss but season yeah. two i haven't seen season two either i yeah. just wasn't it's kind of the same way it, you know there's a couple episodes that are like okay this is really good some of them are like and yeah, you gotta like muscle through you see all those yeah. butts you guys just put in there but 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 but, but, but. <laughs> yeah that's not it's not what we're getting so far with X Men ninety seven. Yeah, so no. far three episodes in and three are fired. Uh, with the What If series, you was inconsistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was inconsistent. They 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 need to go back. I said this last week. They need to go back now. And right now, there's I don't know if you guys have been hearing the news going on behind the scenes, but there's sort of like a power struggle, civil war at Disney yeah. right now with Bob Iger and um, uh, Crow Mutter. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. a lot of things are up in the People, air. Besides, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're supposed to be going to a committee and vote who's going to eventually get power. And if you care about your properties at all, you're going to want uh, Iger to win. Um, uh, especially since Crowmutter was like pretty racist and sexist on a lot of yeah. stuff he said. But even but when I, when Iger was involved, that's when we had the good years of Marvel. Yeah, that's so when we had like, the best years of Marvel. Yeah. Yep. So it, that's who we want to win, but I hope when all this is said and done that they look at X Men '97 and say, "Let's go ahead and revisit Spider Man '95." Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Which I've, made, I've, I've, heard, I've heard rumors that there's going to be a tie-in somewhere. There's already the little, the little small Easter egg with the, the Daily Bugle. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully... They do there there were always crossovers back in the day. Yeah. The X-Men would show up on Spider-Man. Spider-Man was like, there's always... Yeah, like, like they can start... And, and then they can even do like a, an original Fantastic Four cartoon set in the same time period. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, Blade showed up in 95, Spider-Man, and so did Captain America. You can do a whole new MCU just in animation. Animated. Do yeah. it, please. I, I would happily to see that. Because then you don't need all these, you know, these, these voice actors. You don't need to have the, the, the yep. characters. They don't, they don't have to be like straight up canon for the MCU, but have mm -hmm. their own Marvel animated <laughs> universe, you know? Yeah. That's I wonder what, like I, DC I, did. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to see a shift, right, before we had DC with the crazy animations. Apparently, now they're not doing so well. Now we have Marvel's Marvel animation is actually yeah. doing the animation. And with James uh, Gunn taking over now, DC. Now James yeah. Gunn taking DC. Are there, are there movies actually going to be like fire? I, would, I wouldn't mind that, honestly. Shitty? Honestly, I would not mind that. You know? The, yeah. You know? Well, I, 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 I think James Gunn has the advantage. And this is why I say that. Because he's starting back at one. So he's got Superman, Wonder Woman, Batwoman. We can't start Marvel back at number one. We lost yeah. Captain America, Iron Man, and all that. Yeah. So now we're getting yeah. to all like these second, third rate characters where James Gunn is going to have his the Trinity. Core. He's going to have yeah. all these main characters, you know? So he's got the upper hand when you think about it. And you do make a good point. Like maybe they're going to switch roles now because mm -hmm. D DC had that animated cinematic universe oh, and it was. Great, yeah, yeah. And, until they did the 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 reset after um uh War of Apocalypse or whatever that Apocalypse, last movie, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Once that happened, a lot of people fell off. The, the the new stuff just wasn't hitting with people. But yeah, um, Mason Clark threw another five hours to chat. Man, Mason Clark all over the place, man. Uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much, sir. Um, I agree with you about Will Smith, Rob. I also have lost respect for him. Dude just allows himself to be Jada's bitch. Yeah, <laughs> she ain't wrong about that part. Man. No, I mean, yeah. wrong. What, what Mason's saying, though, in another sense, you know, he's also a victim mm -hmm. of her manipulation. Yes, he decided to stay there and deal with it, but she's she man has him by the freaking balls because to be able to do that, I believe after all that happened. She was releasing a book or something. Yeah, a book. Yeah, like, yeah, and, and, yeah, and yeah. he was there, and he was yeah. there. Yeah. It's like, and the book all of them, like, you know, it's just like, it's like, yeah, yeah, totally. I, I, what the fuck? I'm all, I'm all about balls. redemption, and I'm, you know, I'm still a Will Smith fan. It just, mm -hmm. he has a, you know, black spot, like a stain on him now. I look at with that incident and this other stuff. So, he, I was it's wondering like, what like, with that. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's like seeing your, you know, your hero, your fall hero. Kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, I've been a Will Smith fan since, you know, a kid, you know. So, yeah, same here. We're fresh in, 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 yeah. Independence Day. It's like, yep. you know, it's like, but he was always hey. a motivational speaker. He had good messages and everything, but it's like you're 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 preaching all this, but your real your home life is completely opposite of that, you know. Mm. I, I was a yeah. big fan of Will Smith too as a young kid because I never missed the episode of Fresh Prince. I uh, saw all of his movies, Men in Black, Independence yeah. Day, all that. It wasn't until much later on. When I started doing YouTube, I started hearing rumbles about how he treated people behind the scenes and how he wants everything about him and stuff like that. And then, and but that that didn't taint the way I felt. Like I still went and saw his stuff, you know. Right. Uh, but when he did what he did to Chris Rock, it just I lost respect for him, you know. Yeah. And people are, people can be like, you know, he didn't beat the guy down, but that doesn't make it right still, regardless. No. Assault still assault. I mean, yeah. and humiliation to humiliation. Yeah, and I, I'm, I, will, I'm not... I will never defend what he did. I mean, what he did was completely wrong, you know. Yeah. And I, I think he, he, you know, he should have been penalized and all that stuff. Yeah. But I'm also a person that I believe in redemption. But mm -hmm. and, it, and it's each your own to forgive somebody. You don't have to forgive yeah. somebody. So if someone says I'm not gonna forgive him, I have no problem. That's on you. You know. I know Chris Rock said, "Fuck you." I, I mean, yeah. 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 but you see, but you see, if he would have like cut ties with Jada right there. And like one different road, and come out publicly. Yeah, yeah, he didn't and, do and, any of that. And, and, like, he yeah, came out publicly I'm, like a lot later, right? He, he should have been like, "I'm a I, listen. What I did was wrong. I'm a reevaluate my yeah. life. I have my own internal struggles. I'm, I apologize to Chris. You know, my fans. You know, you know when he should have done it. The moment he stepped up, stepped up there and got his Oscar. 
Yes. yes. Yeah. Ben Affleck. Yes. Said, I, you know yeah, what? I, I want to apologize. I can't, I can't for what accept this before. award because what I did, I, Chris. I yes. apologize to you. Hundred percent. Know. That was 100%. the time to really show. Yeah. If he but he doubled that, down on it. Yeah. yeah. He doubled down. He's like, you know, I played King Richard. You know, he wanted to protect his. Like, he doubled down. Yeah. Like, he was right. And no, if, if he would have done what you guys said and went up there and apologized, I would have been like, hey, man, sometimes yeah. in the heat of the moment, the moment you know, you got, I understand. Yeah. But the fact that he waited like two, three weeks, and then when he did an apology, he did that like fancy one where he had like yeah, five yeah. cameras set up and doing yeah. like, bro, this is all a setup. You're not like your, yeah. your PR, your PR department. Like, yeah, you know, that like, you said, like you said, Rob, the, the he should have at that moment in some award took that time to apologize. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would have been like, I can't accept this award. I appreciate it. You, you remember but, a few years back when um, Kanye got up in front oh, of Taylor was, Swift. Good. Yeah, and then but later on that night, Beyonce won the award, and she and said, she, Hey, Taylor, she come up here. Come up. That's yeah, what that's Will Smith like, yeah. done. Yep. Yeah, that is yep. true. And yep. you know, and also about the Will Smith thing, too, is it also set a bad precedent of if if so, if like a comedian or somebody said something that you see that nowadays. Like, and yeah, like, someone tried to attack Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Well, like no one wants to host a freaking award show now, a comedian, because if you make fun of an actor or, or a singer now, you're getting chastised. So like look, Joe Coy, I mean Joe Coy kind of sucked when he did his, but um well, yeah, he was in a yeah, bad element yeah, when he hosted yeah. that. It wasn't his element because he's yeah, a great well, I seen his and stand up uh he's once a, he's live a crowd. and it's completely different, dude. Yeah. Like his he's raw as hell. And that was not his own. Not that, yeah, but like you see these at these comedy shows, people run up on stage and trying to fight the comedian and stuff because they mm-hmm. said something that they didn't agree with or was offensive. Yeah. I don't, I never say the fact of why are you gonna go to a comedy show that you know the person kind of comedy and get yeah. mad at them for doing their comedy? Like why are you even there? Like I don't understand that. You have every right to leave, let alone yeah. trying to assault somebody. So mm-hmm. hey, uh, Jan Zena. He did publicly apologize in that video a couple weeks afterwards. Yeah, he made a whole he made a whole video. Yeah, like, you can still you can watch go- the video on you YouTube. Can Google it. Yeah, I think it's on yeah. the channel actually. Justin Monty throwing in the five hour super chat. Wop wop, nice. and he says, "Hey guys, X Men ninety seven has been such a surprise. I'm Indeed. glad this. I'm glad it's man. I cannot read out loud, man. I'm oh, glad man. it's been great so far, Alfonso. Do you, Alfonso? Do you uh, think the episodes uh, are?" Might mean I think he might mean also maybe also yeah oh. also yeah I think he meant also I'm like did we got a new guy on the show I don't know maybe he heard me speak Spanish and he automatically thought my name was Alonso I, I was I, kind of I, <laughs> you think the episodes are the perfect lane I personally do because yeah. they're actually longer than the original episode the original episodes were 20 21 minutes yeah. these for the most part have been 30 yeah. minutes yeah yeah I I, I I I like the pacing of it um mm. I don't think Anything over 30 minutes with these kind of shows, I think would be too long. You know, yeah. but it gives you a just enough and be excited for next week. Like I said on the other night, they're doing a format where every week you have a story, you have a, your main weekly villain, whoever your character you're gonna focus on, they wrap it up and they leave you with a cliffhanger for next yeah. week. That's the perfect also, format. Uh, yeah, sorry, I thought you were there. Go ahead. No, no, I was gonna say also for the length of the episodes, one thing you have to keep in mind is one of them was syndicated for tv so that's yep. why it's shorter because of the commercials the commercial commercials break, they're, yeah. they're just putting in the commercial time into actually content so that's where we're getting more but if we want to complain about time length complain about the acolytes only being 30 minutes long mason <laughs> <laughs> clark doing the time of the G. Dude, can't <laughs> wait to see it, right? it was a good joke it was a good it was. joke oh uh, yeah uh it was it was it, it was, it was awesome. like it was wasn't funny. like he had cancer he, he was, or anything. He yeah. was roasting, you know, he was roasting everybody. Yeah. And, you know, but what makes like, it worse was Will was laughing. Yeah. And until she looked at her. I got the look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Yeah, boy. The they weren't even he, living the together. The jokes he could have said to exactly, that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, your wife who's still in love with Tupac, you know, and is constantly dogging. He, he has a, his daughter had right a, in had the left. Affair, had an affair with your son's best friend who's like, you know, quarter of her age. <laughs> like, he, he's got, well, speaking, like his son is dressing up like a woman. 
His daughter's writing a dead Tupac saying that my yeah. mom misses you. His mom is sleeping with her son's best friend. It's like that whole family. That's what Hollywood does to you. Dude, I've been watching. That's that Scientology stuff, man. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I, I've been watching that Nickelodeon special, Quiet on Set. Yeah, yeah Bro. I mean, we knew, but we didn't know it was that deep. Like, yeah. I got yeah, one episode left to watch. I I, yeah. I finished episode three right before um they, we, they got we more, got on Star Live. We got more episodes coming out. Oh, said. is there? I, I bought yeah. the whole yeah, season. The whole, the next the whole yeah. yeah, yeah. The whole season's like eight dollars. So there was four episodes. I'm like, boom! I didn't know there was more episodes. So that's yeah. good. I got something to look forward Dude, to. When they were like this one character, well, and Josh Peck was him uh, came out. I was like, oh. From yeah, I was like, dang. It was like they arrested this pedophile for penetration, and they're like, who, who did he do this to? And then here comes, here comes I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, damn, terrible. man. But you That's understand crazy. right now why all these child actors end up yeah. doing like going crazy or just having like you know these downfalls because they have all this trauma that happened to them, and then no one believes them. Or but the thing is, it, it's not new and it's not a secret. You look no, at you no. look at um. When they, they arrested Harvey Weinstein, right? It was yeah. like, do you think he's the only one that does that? Oh, no. no. You know, you look at, look at, look at P. Diddy right now. Yeah, look at P. Diddy. Look what's going on with Vince McMahon, right? Yeah. Like, this shit is everywhere in Hollywood. And the reason why these whistleblowers get killed in prison, you know, surprising, is because if they, if they blow the whistle on everybody, everybody dude, the Hollywood that. industry is fucked. Hollywood yeah. politics, politicians. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, Big time. You know, Big CEOs time. all will go down. My thing is, how many parents took hush money? Mm -hmm. Most of them, probably. Exactly. A lot and of me for, for There's no opinion, way as a parent, if I'm on a set with my child and I see that mm -hmm. kind of crap happening, oh, no, I don't care. We'll go live back in the trailer park. Fuck the damn money. You yep. know? <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, they, the capitalism, yeah, you want the money. Yeah, and that—that's yeah. why that one black actor got kicked off after season two because his mom kept raising shit on the yeah. damn set. Right. <laughs> They're like, you know what? We're just replacing you, man. Kudos for her, though. You know, yeah. if that's if that was the case, then yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But dude, the, like, like you guys would not be able. To, I'm not talking about you guys on this panel, but the, I'm talking about the people watching. You, if you guys knew. What really went on behind the scenes in Hollywood and politics, you would not be able to sleep at night. Yeah. The the amount of like sex trafficking, drugs, all that stuff. People like, like when the guy from Lincoln Park committed suicide, it's because he was getting ready to blow the whistle on a bunch of people in Hollywood. So, like Action Kutcher, he's gonna be gone soon. Someone's gonna kill him because he's getting way too close to, to the shit, man. There, yeah. there is a big, big dark underground in in hollywood and politics mm -hmm. and you guys would shit your pants if you knew exactly what was going on man that's why i'm talking about like everybody, everybody wants to fight over stupid shit man there's so much more things going on yeah yeah, yeah. justin monty you threw in a five dollar chat children actors don't deserve to be taken advantage of and i'm glad quite on set has helped bring this to light i'm waiting for Thank you so much version. for reading that man you're my new reader Gascar. you got promoters Thank you. I'm waiting for the Disney Channel Disney. version of it to come out. Yeah, that's going to be Dude. really interesting. Yeah. Look at Britney Spears, how fucked up she is right now. Yeah. He was on the Mickey Mouse Club. So, yeah. a lot Who of those, yeah. right? Like Justin Timberlake, a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Christina Aguilera. Never. What's that one from Notebook Guy? Um, what's the name? Did Barbie uh, play Kim? Uh, Ryan Gosling? He was on Disney Channel too. Trey he was. On he was. Mm -hmm. Fucked up that Canadian guy, probably. Who knows? Yeah, Who knows, I mean, yeah, it's, it's scary. It's, it's, it's scary. <laughs> well, look at look at the kid who uh, played John Connor in Terminator Two. Like, look what happened to him. Yeah. You know, because all the drugs and shit that goes on. Yeah. Also, like you know, uh, you see the videos and stuff about Justin Bieber, right? When he was young and he was and he, and he was winning all the awards and how like you know he was getting like kissed on stage by like pink grown and, like grown women. That's, that's and creepy. Women right? and, and and men like you know like flirting with them and stuff. You know, he was part of that. Yeah, movie. Did he yeah, remember the movie? And apparently, he spent forty-eight hours in his house. There's a movie that I watched as a kid, and I watched as an adult. I'm like, this is some pedophile stuff. You remember that movie, Blank Check? Yes. 
Do you remember the scene where the grown ass lawyer woman kisses, like makes out with the kid? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You remember that? I don't, I don't so, remember that. If you go back and watch the movie, so you know the kid gets that blank check and all that stuff. Yes. And it's the lawyer woman or some the girl that's like helping the kid or whatever. Right, and in the movie, right, like right. they actually make out. And the kid's like 10 years old, like 13 years old, and they are making out. Yes. Yeah, that and not, definitely and not, not a little today. peck on the cheek. It's like they're actually kissing, kissing. I'm like, who approved that? Well, there was a lot of movies like that because I remember a movie when I was younger called Milk Money uh, about the, 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 this little boy and his two friends went to like the city to, the the pay a, a hooker to take her clothes off for them. And these kids are like 12 years old, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it was like, it was, see, that just goes to show you some of the weird shit, stuff, man. Yeah. yeah. Man, 1994. That's when that movie Blank, came out. Blank, Blank check? check? Yeah, 1994. Yeah. Yeah, it was that, probably, was, that, was a, that was a Disney movie, I think, too. Uh, was it? I believe I so. you might be right. Uh, was it Studio Walt well, Disney Pictures? You're right. Yep. You know, well, you go back and look at Disney's history, man. Disney has always had some fucked up shit in their movies. The question, and questionable stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's why they're trying to be all squeaky clean now, man. Mm-hmm. But, but let's face it, man. TV back then, even in the 80s, you would get boobs and, and butts and, and yeah. everything. And those back then it yeah yeah I, I remember watching tv with my my dad and my dad going hey look at those cities son and i was like oh <laughs> yeah today you yeah. become a man have this beer and watch these movies with dude, me son <laughs> dude my my dad gave me a beer when i was like six or seven i think my, man. I think my grandpa gave my first beer when i was like six or seven i, I, I told it. my i told my wife that she's like like, well, that's not good. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, that I used to go to work that. on the yeah, I used to go to work with my dad on the weekend. My dad was a mechanic, so I would go yeah. help out around the shop, and everybody would be drinking that you know, everybody would have a beer at the end of the shift, and he wanted me to feel like part of him, so he gave me like a beer. I, I didn't like it. Like, yeah. I remember like this shit nasty, man. Yeah, but, but cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tastes like piss. How do you know what piss tastes like? <laughs> <laughs> Because Todd oh my God. in my mouth, mama. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. Oh, what was the first time I had? I think it was wine with like seven up or something while I had uh, dinner. I, I I'm showing my age now. You probably do. I get on TikTok every now and then. You see these new kids trying you know, Mad Dog 2020 for the first time? I'm like, y'all have no idea what that does to you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, what the hell is Mad Dog? I don't know. I don't oh, know. you never know, Oh, it was in Canada? Mad Dog 2020? It was like this cheap, like malt liquor, but like flavor, like raspberry and strawberry. Oh shit! shit. Okay, it yeah, like, we had it was like shit, two dollars like tornado. Yeah, it's called tornado up here or something like that. You'd be yeah. like in high school paying a, you know, the the drunk yeah. bum on the corner to get you some. Get you know? going and start get, <laughs> you some. get you some. Yeah. <laughs> it was sweet oh, as hell, shit. but it would give you the freaking yeah. biggest hangover. Yeah, Zima yeah, was yeah. like that. I used to drink oh, Zima, Zima, yeah, and it would taste like Seven Up or whatnot. But the next day, man, it felt like you yeah. just drank pure rubbing alcohol. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Rubbing alcohol. I, oh, that's our true alcoholic right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I I know there hasn't been a whole lot of movie discussion or movie topics this week. Yeah. Um, but. To the Xbox players here, did you guys see what the Xbox manager wrote on her Twitter? No, I, oh, I saw no. you post something. But I, I oh, didn't see no, what, what happened. What did he what say? Black gamers or something? Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, it, it was a female. Okay, she was in charge of. She was the market manager, the marketing manager for Xbox, and she said, "Um, hey, hey, gamers, is there anyone out there that isn't white who games because we need representation? Nothing against you, white dudes, but we need like it was the most hey, racist. You're the, head of, thing. you're the head of marketing. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. and she's so white, was- and she's white, and it was the racist thing. And then only, um, my, only white people play games, right? Yeah. So and my brother, like my brother texts me, and I'm like, I'm like, where'd you get this from? He's like, some web, some YouTube channel named Geeks and Gamers just posted it. So I'm like, well, let me go see what the fuck they said. So I went over there, saw what oh. they said, and then I went on Xbox, and then she deleted the tweet. Oh, but yeah, too late oh. now. And, and then she Always tried to it already. Yeah, they, it was already all over the place at that point. And then, then she tried to apologize. She's like, "Oh, I, that's not what I meant." And people were like, "Like, how could you not mean what you exactly. said?" Yeah. You know? wow. So now she got her account set to private, 
But this is all coming out after the Otaku shit that came out like a week or two ago. Mm. Where, where Otaku, because um, Otaku, they're, they're like the social people, you know, like you have to have inclusion in all your yeah. games. And I, I was, I always loved video games. I always felt like that was the one platform where we wouldn't get this type of shit. And now we're getting this type of shit. It's everywhere, man. Because like, like, um, so like they they pointed it out. I guess there's a side mission in Spider Man Two where you play as Miles's girlfriend and uh, she's deaf, so there's no sound coming on the screen. And I'm like, why would you put this in a video game? Like, why would you like? I I feel like you're pandering at that point. It was very you weird. Know? Yeah, I mean, I get it, but I mean, I get it. Yeah, but mm. I mean, my thing is here's a, here's a if a deaf person playing that game. They already they can't, can't hear anything. Yeah, so yeah. You're not, you're not they're making it they're, cool, making them feel inclusive. They already no, but can't hear the game. They're making you, I'm being devil's advocate here, uh, they're making you, feel, you feel. feel what it is yeah. to live in their world, right? Where you can't hear anything in the game. Make you understand them, but it's like, yeah. you know. Now, me personally, I, I, get I don't, it, but it's not, yeah, I don't mind because it's a side quest. It's not yeah. in the main it's quest. It's, it's a side quest. But when, when you, when they had like an hour mission where you're playing as MJ, that feels forced, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I just don't like. Yeah, it starts to feel forced when she's easily beating like Craven's hunters with ease, even though oh she's down. she's stealthier than Solid Snake. Apparently, <laughs> wow! But I'm not playing that game. I'm just disappointed. Good news with Xbox, though. I hope they bring the Steam catalog over to um Xbox. Dude, that would be so that, great. That's gonna hurt PlayStation. Oh my god, they bring the Steam. Catalog, we can you know, you know, how many games. Steam games I have, man. That would be Me amazing, too. yeah, that would be awesome. Justin Monty threw in a two dollar chat. Has anyone seen the recent Spider Verse short? Yep, check man. I, I like when you're reading this past, man. It's all dramatic and everything, right? I know, I'm so illiterate, man. Have <laughs> I have super chats actually read out perfectly? I'm like, man, this is great. <laughs> she get AI to do it for you. Uh, <laughs> That's crazy. It's, yeah, I have, uh, I have seen it. I have, I have seen it. Um, yeah, I reaction on my channel. So, I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen it yet. It's good. It's really yeah. good. It, it's, it's kind of horror. Since how long is it? Eight right minutes. It. I'll watch it later. Yeah. I, I heard snippets of it, and that's all I. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's just a quick little, you know, short. Doesn't is like, it connected uh, to anything, or is it just a no, side? It, thing? It's just a side thing. It's in between the two movies. It's a little side thing, so kind of oh, gives okay. you a little understanding of Miles and what he's dealing with. So oh, uh, remember, remember yeah. I didn't kinda, see it. It, it, it. Honestly, it's like a the message in it is like mental health, so it has a good, gotcha. has, a good has, has a good message in it. You know, just gotcha, gotcha, you know. gotcha. Talk to somebody, people. There's always somebody that's gonna listen. Oh, we got a super chat coming in from Phil Collins. Phil Bill Collins. Collins put a chick in it. <laughs> And make <laughs> put a chicken that's make much, a gay. That's pretty much what's going on. That was the best thing South Park ever did, man. Oh, man. It's it like was... even, even Phil's face in it. You know, you can you can make it's like that's the face he put after he said the line, right? It's like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put a chicken, make her gay. Oh man, yeah. there's so there much there's so much shit going on about the acolytes, man. I don't even know if I want to watch that show now. It's because that um, came. That was all planned at that point when that was like the main push by you know. KK but but did you hear the, the director's comments team. though? Uh, that, that's why they have to shut up and not get into the whole politics of it. Like, just shut your mouth. Yeah, no, you're wrong. Just... But that that's the problem though. <laughs> that's the problem with basically everything um going on right now with the media or like just yeah. in terms of like even like actors even with the media directors is like they are. They're not talking about like the actual content being like, oh, you guys need to watch this because we're we love this franchise. It's like they're talking about the politics of it. Like if you have to rely on that as your main marketing, that's a problem. If you want to put a message, you let the message be in there, but you don't have to yeah. like. It's not a good message. You gotta tell people the message. Yeah, I was watching John Campia's video. Uh, I think he did two weeks ago, and he because someone sent a, a comment and saying, "How do you feel about all the messaging in movies now?" And his his answer, I agree but disagree with him at the same time. His answer was Hollywood has always had messaging in their movies, and he's right. Yeah, but they never took over the whole movie. You had yeah. to you had to really dig deep into the message of the movies, you know, to really to really understand what the let, message is. Let it speak are. for itself, like let it yeah. speak for itself, you know. Yeah, 
And just let, let the story ride. You know, if that happens, it happens. And it's like telling a joke. If I got to explain the joke to you, yeah. it's not funny. You know? Yeah. It's the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Same concept. I'm already mad that the freaking runtime for this series is going to be like 30 minutes. Like, they got to stop doing that with these live eight, action shows. Yeah. Eight, ep- eight episodes, 10 minutes. Like, that's it's, that, it's, it's, good, it's easy with animation, but I don't think like you get enough story time even. to tell. You know? Not even, man. I think if you're going to go bring out an epi- episodic show, the episodes have to be the same time. Yeah. yeah. If you're sticking to a 30 minute, stick to the 30 minute. Don't come out with a 30 minute one one week and then an hour 15. That's one what I, that's what I yeah, it's like, what the hell? Mandalorian did that a lot. Like we're gonna give 45 yeah. minutes and the next week, next week is 30 minutes, maybe 28. It's yeah. like, come on, man. Yeah. Well, not, like, not adding the credits, right? Not yeah, adding yeah, the credits yeah. and yeah. all that crap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, like um, I think we all pretty much like the Soka, right? But could you imagine how much better Soka would have been if each episode was an hour long instead of 30 minutes? Because I remember we used to complain, like, like why didn't Ezra tell her about this? Or why yeah. didn't like, well, like yeah, why didn't Sabine tell Ezra that this was happening? And all that happened off screen. Uh-huh. Why? You're supposed to, like, your exactly. audience shouldn't have to fill in the blanks. Exactly. Especially the audience that don't really know the whole back. If you didn't watch, like, you know, uh, Rebels, you don't really know the back history like that, you know? So yeah. My, my wife look. didn't watch Rebels, but she watched all of Ahsoka with me. And when Sabine finally met Ezra again, and, and they were like, hey, how you doing? My wife's like, well, that was anticlimactic. Anticlimatic, yeah. <laughs> It just well, all even, the hype they were trying even, to build up. Just even like, watching oh, Rebels was anticlimactic. You thought it'd be more yeah. than that. It's like, even yeah. made this whole big speech. Like, I gotta get to him. I gotta get to him. Yeah, him. yeah. Like, hey, like, hey, how's it going? You sacrificed I, I'm, everybody I'm, 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 for I'm this. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. You know, I'm like, you need to talk about what happened, why, why you're here, how you got here. Like, come on. I, I like Dave Filoni, but I don't think he knows how to write live action. Like he doesn't know how to write the drama. He can come up with this. I think, like George Lucas, right? George Lucas comes up with great stories. But he's not always the best writer, yeah. you know. I, I think I think he needs to come up with the stories, but he needs to get people to write, and they need to really fill out. Say what you want about Andor, Andor was very very well written. You right. didn't have to guess anything; everything was on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. and every episode like was connected and went forward. It pushed the storyline forward, you know. But like I go back to like I think wow. the live action stuff. If you're only going to drop eight episodes for a series, you got to do an hour. You have to do yeah. an hour, like you know, unless you're going to do 15 episodes at 30 yeah. minutes, that's fine. But if we're doing an hour, I mean, uh, eight episodes, we gotta go an hour at least. Yep, mm-hmm. Bill Cons comes in with 9.99. Thank you, great sir, for that 9.99. I say vote with your wallet as long as we give them money, they will not stop making crap. If nobody watched their content, they will change course to try to get viewers back. That that's one hundred percent true. Yeah, but it's not, not a, it's not an overnight thing. It's going to take yeah. years and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. A lot of people have canceled. I know Disney Plus and stuff like that, and are doing that. But it has mine to. Mine was weird. canceled until X Men came out. So we like, I renewed mine. At, and when, when X Men ends, yeah. I'm going to cancel it again. Yeah, but you see, that one episode, that one show, is worth it. Yeah, yeah. If you like it, yeah. but it kind of goes against what Phil's trying to say, though. Yeah, to be honest with you, because you know the greater the greater bigger picture is that yeah. You know, the content has been hurt. But, but on the yeah. flip side, you got you got to watch the good ones to get more good quality yeah. stuff. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I, I I think I think I think a lot of people are doing that. I think a lot of people are canceling. Yeah, you you hear about the numbers going down and all that, mm-hmm. and that's why there's like a major course correction going on right now at, at Disney with the Bob Iger Civil War with um Chromutter and stuff. I mean, I was almost going to cancel Disney until X Men came out. Mm-hmm. You know. I much prefer I, Hulu. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I watch more stuff on Hulu now than I do anything else, even yeah. over Netflix. Yeah, our our Hulu shit is on, it's on Disney Plus. Yeah, so. ours is now too, but so. yes, still have to pay for it. Not not like yours in Canada because yours is connected. Yeah. Ours is connected, but you still you have got, to pay. Yeah, buy a bundle. Yeah, yeah, buy a bundle. Yeah, because yeah. Shogun and X Men '97 right now for me is worth it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, and I watch Hulu for uh, my. Raw, SmackDown, yeah. my wrestling shit. So, when is Netflix? Yeah, Netflix? Yeah, exactly. I was about to say. Yeah, that. yeah, and, and 2025 is coming on Netflix. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, so uh, and then I have to sign up for Netflix. I don't have Netflix right now. It depends uh, on all those uh, lawsuits and stuff. You think that the the brand's gonna be hurt completely? Where they're gonna have to like? I, I don't think the average person knows what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they wouldn't get know. to be in that 
that world to understand what's going on. Yeah. They're already like uh, blurring out Vince McMahon's face on everything. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. They're basically giving stuff. him. They're giving him the Benoit treatment right now. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Which is smart because you don't. You shouldn't acknowledge. Like the the and I think I talked about this on the hangout too, guy scars. It with Vince McMahon, it's like really really weird because say what you say what you want to say about the guy, but without Vince McMahon, like the wrestling landscape wouldn't yeah. be where it is today. That it would be better. Sure, it may may be better. <laughs> may, may not be better, but that, that son of a bitch made a monopoly yeah, out of did. the industry, and wrestling sucked for twenty years because of that guy. Yeah. No, I when he bought when he bought uh, WCW, when when he bought ECW, well, he first first he made a monopoly by buying all the territories, yeah. and then when WCW rose to compete against them, he ended well, up no. buying WCW, and then we just had WWE for twenty years. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't not, until, having, not having competition ruins your brain. Yeah, quality of stuff. Competition yeah. is important. That's why all these PlayStation and Xbox fans that hate each other are like. PlayStation, you should love Xbox, and Xbox, you should love PlayStation, because one of you go out of business, it's going to hurt the industry. Uh, uh, yep, yeah. Yep. So, yep. But at the same time, like, I don't know. It's just, it's really weird. Like, I feel like Vince, in terms of the Lance grand scheme of wrestling, like, it's, I he is such a big part of that, that if you try to erase him, it would just feel like, weird like i think it's one of those things where you shouldn't acknowledge them you shouldn't mention them on like programming but you can't really erase them from history type whenever you take no. a crap man you automatically think of him man yeah i think of him dump, <laughs> taking a dump on someone's head like it's <laughs> it's so God. that's it um let's go ahead and wrap it up guys uh dj where can the people find you sir find my channel talking black guy here on sunday nights and on that man's channel down here on uh, Wednesday nights um, mm -hmm. to hang out. Yeah. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thank you for coming on this Easter Sunday. And I told um, you so. I told you so. <laughs> told me so. Oh, yeah, yeah. You did. You did. You did. You I'm on that here with you, man. Where can the people uh, find you? Yes, sir. You can find me on the Basco Scenario, my channel, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I would like to see some of the people in the chat here pop up in the chat and say hello for just a minute or a comment on my stream. So I know you guys are watching. All right. Appreciate that. Thank you, Rob. No, thank you for coming on this Easter weekend, and thank you for being the new reading guy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> awesome. And awesome. where can people find you? Uh, well, you can find me on my channel where I do stuff very rarely. Um, I'm on the Hangout on Wednesdays with these two fine gentlemen, and you can actually find me actually in a bit on the Storm Nation member stream. So yeah, we're about to do the Storm Nation stream right after here. So you guys can stick around for that. The member stream is free, but members get to make it tier members get to be on. And then like regular members just get to like instead of doing super chats, we answer members' questions and stuff. So that's gonna happen in a few minutes. So stick around for that. Um so thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Danny will be back, I believe, next week. He's on vacation right now. And uh so yeah. Hopefully he's having fun and staying safe and yep. all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. And I'll catch you guys all next week. Adios, muchachos. Oh, wait. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Sorry. That's a lie. I lied to every one of you guys. There's not a show next week. Oh, okay. WrestleMania is next week. Oh. <laughs> I, th I thought you were going to tell me, can you read it in Spanish, too? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Spanish, no, no. Right. Stop. So no show but yet. Week. Yeah, no show next week because WrestleMania is next week. So forgot about that one. So I guess I'll see you guys in two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. All, right. All right. Take care, everybody. Right. Later.